They can get the lore somewhere else. They know they're not coming here for that. Well, if they don't know that, now they're about to find out real fucking quick. <laughs> okay, here we go. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2, everybody. The 1.0 release is here, and it's our third run with the Flagellant. We're taking on the uh, Resentment Confession today, having completed the Denial Confession properly for the first time previously, and got a whole bunch of candles as a result of that, so made some great progress in the uh, Altar of Hope as well. We got lucky with the quirks this time around, actually. Iron Constitution on the lever going to give us a really nice HP advantage early on. Got the Shroud Explorer here on the Flagellant, so that might help us out a little bit. Hemophiliac, certainly concerning, which is part of the reason why we're uh, bringing the Plague Doctor along. Also, the fact that this is an all-masks team. Uh, shout out whoever pointed that out. Yeah, that's uh, honestly incentive enough to bring these four along. The Jester, I believe, making his first appearance here in our 1.0 runs. Proper stress healing for once, although... Oh, he does have that off his starting kit. That's right. Okay. So that'll be nice. Looks like fun. That was my question too, Lord. I'm not quite sure if the Flagellant's wearing a mask. I choose to believe he is. But he's probably not. Forward now. Into the crumbling chaos of the world. Bailey, I'll thank you for the gifties. Thank you guys again so much for the immense support. Thank you for Comforts watching on YouTube as well. Appreciate it. Ahead. Only trial and tribulation. Shout out VOD viewers. Thank you very much for liking the videos as well. It helps you immensely. See, even your valley is not immune to the spreading stain. I'm going to give the academics view for the folks that may not have seen the flagellant All earlier. heroes are human. Except this one. So, yeah, he, uh, he looks amazing. I know I'm biased and I'll, I'll freely admit to that, but wow. Outstanding. Thank you, Red Hook, for sponsoring this video, by the way. Another sponsored episode of Darkest Dungeon 2. Right. Chop time. Ah! He's doing fine. Looking healthy, looking spry, but... The battle ballad. Now, I think we probably just bounce back and forth with the Razor's win and a fade to black here. In fact, it's a likely upgrade to fade to black early on this time. I'm beginning to realize through the course of the first combat yet again that I accidentally composed a team that is very uh, complimentary of each other. Stupendous. Although I'm beginning to believe that that has a lot more to do with the fact that the game is just well designed in that regard. It's just fairly likely that that happens no matter what. I could probably hit the random button a lot of the time. That'll do. A righteous action. The flagellant is primarily blight based now, mostly centered around creating and utilizing corpses, even of himself. New corpses as well, yeah, we got the corpse artwork now. It's awesome. Big changes in this release plan, absolutely. Rest and resupply await you. This being the 1.0 release after all. Exclamation point update, by the way, does still link to the... Uh, oh my goodness, Stagecoach, calm down. Does still link to the uh, most recent patch notes, if you'd like to check that out there. Sick drift, bro, yeah. Lower your guard. Soften your gaze. Ooh, baby. It is safe here. We get our very first 1.0 bounty hunter today. That's exciting stuff. We'll see where we're taking them. The provinces and cantrebs of our land, crumbling and undone. Extra move resistance is always fantastic in the Shroud, of course, going up against the Leviathan. Definitely want to have that. In the light, of course, a goal that I would happily pursue as well. Let's head that way. The shrouded coast, isolated and drowning in amphibious degeneracy. And yeah, you know what? I think you're right, Craig. I think it's about time we get the channel point betting again. If we get a mod ready for that, or I can just get it going myself. Let's take a look at the pets we've got available today. Reanimated rabbit, plus one speed per food gear item equipped, plus one max HP per food or uh, per four food items in the inventory. I remember trying to make this one work before. I feel like this is going to be a lot better as an option when we have a lot more food items unlocked. So I'll probably go ahead and pass on that for now. 
Additional debuff resistance piercing per Tinker's gear item equipped and increased chance of producing items from stagecoach items. That's fine, I guess. Plus 10% healing received from skills per medical gear item equipped. Random hero after each location heal 10%. Yep. That's the one. This one Your is just right. If it is to carry you where you must go. Yes, please. Aiton! Six months in advance. Thank you very much for the vote of confidence. Appreciate that a lot. Give him some bear hugs, please. Pond jugular. Rigged. Hop aboard the pond for this particular ride. We'll also be bringing along Recon Waffles. Will join us as our bounty can. hunter today. Or wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. Although prior to that, we're just going to get everybody nice and plastered real quick. My goodness, that was effective. They sure do like their whiskey. Okay, thank you for that. You know, don't mind if I actually maybe go ahead and invest a little more into these relationships early on here. We'll pick up some pipe weed. See how they feel about this. Actually, who's the closest here? Hold on. We got the 15 out of 20 here for Jester Leper already. God dang. Trouble for those disquieted by their own company. I think we could probably go ahead and get rid of the Jester here. That would make for a very strong team. There, above the hearth. The Hunter's Mark. Recon Waffles joins us as our bounty hunter today. I don't know why I did that. I knew it was going to be one short. Hail Draft, not a bad uh, trinket for him to show up with immediately. Probably best if we swap him into the third rank while we haven't unlocked the rest of his skills, which bounty hunter a little bit different if this is the uh, first time you're seeing him here. We don't unlock his skills via the Hero Shrine. We unlock them via the Altar of Hope. So we're going to be stuck with this uh, set of five, at least for this particular run. Let's check our mastery. Experience, however painful, is the greatest teacher of all. Ooh, we need to swap to Acid Rain, actually. I totally forgot. I think I'll swap off and door here. And I did kind of like more and more, but I think I'll like the Leper's Taunt a little bit more. More. Deepak, thank you for the resub. Welcome back in. All-time orphan with the tier 2 score. The five gifties and mac and bees. Thank you very much. Welcome back in. I'm pretty happy with this, to be honest. Punish and Acid Rain have been go-to moves on the Flagellant so far, and I don't anticipate that changing much here. Man, we still have a ton of, uh... Learn a little. And begin again. Still have a ton of stuff. I feel like there might be something I missed here, but I don't think there is. We'll pick up some laudanum. I don't think I need the glimmers. Maybe the bear trap? I don't love the bear trap against the leviathan, though. I think we're good. I guess the medical equipment would be good. Yeah, let's get that. Pretty expensive, but that's worth it. It stings, but it's worth it, especially for the additional benefit from the Pygmy Pliskin. Let's do it. Trap time. Nah, I didn't feed him. Probably should have. That's okay. They're going hungry. They're going hungry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just feel so many people leave. Propriety floats this all at on once. The tide, brined in noxious degradation. Yeah, I brought it on myself though. That's okay. I didn't name the pet either. Good qu or good point. I'm gonna name our pet Rusty Buttons. Especially because that's a great freaking name for the pet. There we go. So, I made the point last time that I, uh, I highly value preserving the full armor and wheels for as long as you possibly can. And given that we have been provided a path through this entire area, basically, that allows us to do so, well, you know, I feel like I'm probably gonna go ahead and do that, yeah! Seems like a good idea. Not to mention we'll probably make a 
killing going this way with so many battles. And we have the bounty hunter, so it's time to fight. Should absolutely be welcoming that. Let's go with the... Let's go with the blinding gas. We are losing our combo applicator via the jester. So maybe we'll try to rely on her for that a little bit more here. My goodness. A phenomenal start for him already. Let's see if I can maybe just finish you off real quick. Ah, I forgot to switch their positions too, son of a gun. Yeah, we'll see if he can be effective from here. I suspect he will be. Why do you have minus one wheel and armor that looks like hell? Yeah, I believe it's one of the... Uh, it's one of the Altar of Hope upgrades in order to get to three wheels and armor, which... Yeah, honestly, I didn't even realize that when we were beginning, and it's... Uh, it's definitely noticeable. Let us hope to finish this quickly. Seems like we will, Wayne. So far, so good. This team owns. Man, I am shocked to be saying that again so very quickly. But sure enough, we got a squad, y'all. With no stress healing again, admittedly, but we gave it up this time. We have it normally. I swear I remember how to do that. Uh, Mark again. It's fun to pile on the DOT. In fact, I'm beginning to regret not picking up that Toxic Icker from the inn. Clearly a little more valuable than I re uh, realized. Yeah, we do got, we got a lot of pl uh, Blight here, so... That should not have been a surprise. I think what happened is in that moment, I considered the two characters who didn't have DOT and thought to myself, they don't need it. End thought process. Professional gamer. Ooh, food. There we go. It's exactly what we need. In crisis, no gain is insignificant. Thank you, sir. What does Toxic Icker do? It is a party-wide debuff for the enemy team that lowers their resistance to all sources of DOT by 33%. Oh, thank you very much, Baker. Oh, that was from Pliskin, right? Yeah, because we just... Okay, right. Okay. Gotcha. Ooh, we got a cash. That's nice. Man, I'm very tempted, honestly. I really want to go fight this Leviathan given the movement resistance, but the fact that they just gave us barricade after barricade on the left is really tempting to pursue that. The enemy weakens and wanes. Maybe if they weren't such little... Bitches, they'd fare better. They ever think about that, Wayne? Have you asked them if they've thought about that? If they've considered not being such little bitches? A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. I bet they haven't. Are those guys' hoods green or blue? Are you you're trying to start the next Twitter debate, right? Because oh no. Uh. Oh, fuck. Yes, right, okay, yeah, good answer. I guess teal. Forest green would be my best bet. This all of a sudden just became very important. He's dead now, though, we'll never find out. Do they change in every zone? Do they? That'd be fun. And new. I would love that. Yep, the new corpse art, of course, as well there. Looking good. Just like our buddy Flagellant. Man, this team... This team's seen better days, huh? At least they got the Jester around to provide some levity. Yeah, I think we probably got to hit the lair here. Just got here. Have we done chapter four or five Perhaps yet? I left this for you. Unfortunately. Perhaps you left it for yourself. My goodness. 
Perhaps it is not here at all. Flapjacks again. That's wonderful. Uh, unfortunately, I'm beginning to suspect I may not be able to reach the Chapter 5 boss prior to departing for a one-week vacation on the 11th. Passage along this stretch. A welcome reprieve. So, having realized that, I, I'm now I'm now on the clock in a desperate attempt to defeat chapters two, three, and four, in order to then be able to see the chapter five boss. Bearing in mind, most importantly, another point that I haven't even considered within that point. I haven't seen the chapter four boss. I have no idea what it is. I have no idea how to deal with it. This is seeming more impossible by the moment, actually. An unexpected find. Oh, ethereal dust, that's fun. Sure. Just get super lucky. I mean, if we're being honest, that's probably not outside the realm of possibility for me. Yeah, I guess we're going right. We do have a lot of money, actually, right now, so that's good. 86 relics ought to afford us the opportunity to get something decent at the order. Primeval, water-worn monoliths were flung up from the ocean floor by some unaccountable tectonic action. Look at the uh, hero shrine as well. His attention is unfocused, as though he is in two places at once. Hmm. Not a lot of value here, sadly. We need to unlock more uh, combat items, man. That's where we're hurting. Wouldn't mind picking this up. Trinkets and baubles paid for in blood. He said that thing! I don't do that. The loathing festers. Just to be safe. Hero Shrine. We lose the wheels here, but we can probably handle that. Just got to make sure that we don't leave this barricade combat in too bad a shape. We'll hit the uh, Hero Shrine with the Flagellant again. What's the thing at the top right? That would be the Loathing Meter, which currently festers. May this malign world find solace through my flesh. That was my uh, high school yearbook quote. Chapter three. More. More. Yeah, I know that skill. Lore, more! He rocked out in search of torment. Sorry, lore, consuming lore. Consuming the sin of any who would purge their misdeeds upon his body. Each wound fueled his fervor. A rapture only found in baptism by the lash. Drunk on his bloody intentions, manic with the need for some elusive apotheosis, he gouged at himself without mercy. As blood poured from his rendered flesh, his consciousness faltered, and the thundering hoofbeats of death rang violent in his ears. Ooh, I wonder if this is perhaps a precursor to us running into death. As that is apparently a possibility. Suffer will steal DOT from a friendly target. We'll also add Death's Door Resist to the flagellant. Cool. Seems neat. I might equip that. Let's do that in place of Deathless. I never use Suffer. I want to give it a go. Oh, look at that. Look at the upgraded version. That's pretty impressive. It adds the second line there that says, Self, end of next turn, remove DOT. Toasty. Thanks for the raid, dude. I took a break. But, yeah, I'm still... I'm curious enough to give that a go. Echoes of humanity, twisted by hopelessness. 
was gonna say, I thought you were there. Does he still have his regen skill? Not as far as I can tell, but we still have three skills left to unlock, so it's a possibility. That's a great. Well done. Sheesh, man, it's just so good. It's just so dang good. I also should have been using those glimmers for a while now. Double blind, love to see it. Although he's probably just gonna die to the second acid rain. I love the flagellant. There, I said it. I'm gonna take him on every single run until they nerf him. But they're not going to, because I'm just, I'm just a, a silly fool. I don't, I don't know nothing about nothing. Don't listen to me. In fact, he's underpowered. Buff the flagellant. Buff the, come on everybody, buff the flat red hook. We don't ask for much. Just want him to, you know, feel, feel okay to use. He desperately needs it. Vestal deja vu, I was feeling like that. And that's why I was trying to catch myself of like, okay, it's not, maybe you just feel like that about every new character that comes out. Maybe, to you, novelty is OP. It's pretty poetic, Bear. But also probably not accurate. Look how skinny he is. Clearly he needs to be buffed. Okay, uh, plus two. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Plus two pounds, hopefully. Distribute evenly across the body. And then maybe a few more. Flag is always your favorite character. He's he's always been pretty foul solid. Winds and foul tidings. No doubt the source is within. I ought to maybe go ahead and equip that. It seems beneficial. No bleed piercing to speak of, right? Spitfire. Thank you for the 13 months. Big Fig Newton. Thank you for the 32 as well. Welcome back in. Ah, yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. The Church of the Change. An inglorious heap of rotting timbers. Good old cabin boy. This is just, it's a phenomenal enemy design, man. Which there are several of these that we could highlight. But I, I've always had a special place in my heart for this. The most disturbing place. Nice flame. Almost. Would have ruined it anyway. You going after Leviathan again? I'm thinking about it. Giving it some serious consideration, especially with how uh, promising this squad has been early on. Leviathan Trophy wouldn't be all that helpful, would it? Double Bleed isn't doing much, although I guess the Jester would certainly like that, wouldn't he? Princess Pretty! The Prime! The Pile! That's right, Green Man. Very good point. We do still have that plus 25% move resist for the region. And checking in on our leper and flagellant. Ooh, 60, you say? And 55. That's, uh. That's up there, man. That's pretty damn good. Relief comes rarely in these times. Not to mention. Favorite. Not to mention. Having peeped the most recent patch notes. We uh, realize that the Leviathan actually no longer ignores taunt on the drag down on the undertow. An unavoidable end. So we can manipulate that a little bit. Giving me even more reason to want to go for this. Even more reason to want to go for it. Having just realized after seeing what just happened here. 
As a result of the 1.0 update, now if you defeat the Leviathan, the Leviathan's Breath is no longer activated for the remainder of the region. Which is something that I remember people asking for, and I'm really uh, happy to see that they implemented that, because it's a really neat idea. And also makes perfect sense. Malaise. Measured and steady. Bonk. Little heal. This wound at least has been tended to. That shouldn't have ignored Taunt to begin with. I kind of agree with you, yeah. I'm glad at least that they did change it at some point. He stops burping because he's dead. Yeah, it makes sense. They did buff the Shambler. Yes, they did. And boy, did they. We haven't seen the buffed Shambler yet. I'm pretty terrified, too, to be honest, because he sounds like he's not going to be fun anymore. And right, yeah, that's the best part of the Shambler buff, is that he gets ups or he gets even more angry if you bring along the baby Shambler pet. Now, this is... Uh, this is the kind of team that gives you pause when you talk about possibly pressing on to the uh, Leviathan fight afterwards. Yeah, that's a uh, Probably not wise. Let's at least get her out of the way. Old path. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. And that's a uh, really unfortunate pull that or pull Let there too. To finish this quickly. I guess we'll just have to move forward, huh? I know I could do Lash's gift. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll do that. A little stress for the bounty hunter isn't so bad. Ounce? No, don't be silly, bear. Just clear a dodge. Let's get rid of that. Not in love with the idea of just letting this meltdown take place with how much HP he's still got. I do think I need to just go ahead and chop this guy. There was the chance of just going for a one shot there. Nice, that's pretty helpful. Okay, he clears the crits at least. There's the toxic for the uh, flagellant. does cost him a little bit from the relationships. Drink from my veins. If you haven't seen this yet, this is a new condition for the uh, flagellant unique to his meltdowns. Gives him this toxic condition, which applies to blight to attackers when hit per toxin token, which, or per toxic token, which as you can imagine, adds up quickly and is pretty fantastic. So actual incentive to uh, create meltdowns on this guy. And I think I'll just do that. There we go. One less obstacle in our path. Get over here. Yeah, honestly, as far as I can tell, it's just a benefit. I don't believe there's any uh, repercussion to it besides, you know, obviously he loses his, his HP and the relationships take a hit. Yeah, it's pretty fantastic otherwise. Yeah, let's do that. Like, in a fight like the Leviathan, for example? Talk about a worthwhile trade, you know? I'm sacrificing four pips for the toxic condition during that combat every single time. This wound, at least, has been tended to. P.S. Up. Thank you for the prime. Give us some bear hugs, please. We'll come on back into the bear fire. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. Hmm. It is also just funny, right? Yeah, that his meltdown makes him toxic. Man. If that toxic condition stayed. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is just... Kind of poo-poo loot, too, to be honest with you. The wind chimes are nice, but otherwise, it's not worth it. Let's not sacrifice the run here. It's not worth it. Nice little haul there, anyway.
He's just a big Britney fan. Hit him, baby, one more time. Absolutely. There's got to be another one. I, sh I should be a. I should be able to rally these off. I know Brittany. Let's mix these two. See what kind of fun concoction we can make. We'll save the other one, I guess. That'll do. Now you got it, Silver. Oops, I hit it again. Referring to himself. There you go. I'll give you half credit for that. Um, I think we're good. Yeah, let's do it. He also wants your ugly and he wants your disease. This is just... It's, it's providing a an irrefutable point at this juncture. <laughs> Well, that's not great. Minus 10% dust door resist plus 15% meltdown chance. Yeah, he served his purpose. He's expendable. Malaise, measured and steady. You know, no offense, recon waffles. I think you get it. You're a professional. Or at least that's what it says in your name tag. At least you can write anything there, can you? If the bounty hunter dies, do you have to pay his fee at the end of the run? I, I feel like I should remember this. I think you do. I'm pretty sure you do. Which is really funny. Excite, thank you for the bits. Right, we promised them to his estate. Yeah, there we are. I remember saying something to that effect. By which I mean stealing that similar line from Chad. That is my job, after all. I really don't need to do with Stand, actually. I should take the leper into a hero shrine. So I'm much more interested in getting the attention onto the... Uh, Onto the uh, flagellant here. Which I suppose means I might have been a lot better off actually in this comp, replacing the leper with the bounty hunter. Leave the jester stay into this. And apply it judiciously. That'll work. Let's go with this. Sure. Nice. Ooh, and if we could get something like Bash on the Leopard, too, actually, that'd be pretty nice. A little help impeccably timed. And chop him. Good work, buddy. Chat, what sort of sound do you think you'd make if you were turned into a bagpipe? You've been digging deep into your bag for these ones, huh, Toasty? You have to type it out. You have to you, you have to type it phonetically what it would be. Because I'm also curious. Later on, Cuba. Honk. All right. All right. Thought we could put in the effort. A slow dissection. <laughs> All right, yeah, maybe I was mistaken. That might be on me. I'd sound like a sad, strangled goose. That's, yeah, wow. You're right. I never put a label to it like that. healing him. He doesn't want that. Oh, he does want that. That's surprising. That should be a negative pip. Working opposite his intentions. Like one continuous Squidward laugh. Oh, man. A spark. 
You got one upped. You got one upped, sad goose. By one continuous Squidward laugh. The loathing whispers. <laughs> yeah, that's. That's it. That is also exactly what that sounds like. I'm gonna give myself a pat on that. That's literally the exact sound. Dead on. Awesome and terrible at the same time. That was what I was going for. We would come here in summers of years gone to write, Ooh. think, and rest. That's a bale face. Ooh. Evasive for Moose and me. That ain't a bad reward for sitting your ass on the bench, dude. I'll take it. The provinces and cantribs of our land crumbling. And undone. Bonus candles. That's tempting. Equally tempting, given it wants me to fight less road battles. Our great cities burn. Yes, please. All that beauty and knowledge. Yay, flapjacks. Ash on the wind. Clearly the priority. Oh my god, I'm rich. Spend what you can. Or wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. Nice. We have some food, too, actually. Yeah, we're good to go, dude. Let's get plastered. You told me you like this stuff! There we go. Okay, they kind of made up for it. Flagellant Leper. Whiskey and weed, dude. Yeah, tried and true combo. There's going to be minus two speed for these guys, which I... <laughs> I can't, I can't believe it didn't occur to me until just now that they put a fucking minus one speed debuff on the pipe weed. Like, yeah, that do, that makes sense, doesn't it? They're feeling a little slow. Let's see. I think I'm going to add the max HP to the flagellant. Additional death door resist also makes a lot of sense. Give him the bleed piercing with the slice off. And the laudanum too. Looks good. Mastery time. Experience, however painful, is the greatest teacher of all. Gotta upgrade fade to black for sure. And I think I'll take inspiring tune as well. I was looking at suffer, wasn't I? I guess this is the time to do it. And Lash's gift. I've actually been using this quite a bit. Cool. That'll work. Sprawl time? I think so. One last provisioner check. Let's get the Toxic Kicker. That'll be pretty good. Save this ethereal dust for later. This is a pretty nice combat item. It's just that this team in particular doesn't really need it all that badly. But who knows, maybe... A little later on, I'll change my tune about that. These are honestly maybe worth investing in early on. I think I'll I think I'll pick this up. Just one, just one for now. I'm feeling a little. I'm feeling like the money's burning a hole in my pocket. Actually, let's be more conservative. Y'all, thank you, big boy. Appreciate that. Tried and tested. A bond to be counted on. Thank you very much for watching the YouTube stuff. Razor's Wit will now apply a strength token to the Flagellant. Lash's Gift is going to add a dodge plus to the Jester. That is outstanding. I strongly suspect... Was there anything in the patch notes about the relationships being more likely to affect skills that you're actually using? Because it really feels like that's the case. It's hit a lot more frequently, even in just the last few. Um, the patch notes did say that? Okay, good. Yeah, no, that that's noticeable. And I am very happy about it. Because it makes the relationships far more valuable. Behold. The great cities of man. Ruined. 
and a flame. Oh, thank you for the uh, bits as well, big boy. Appreciate that. Hero goal inadvertently completed. I really need to pay attention to these, man. I got, well, drill it into my brain. At least to the start of the next episode, I've got to remember to pay attention to our hero goals because this does matter. This is very significant. We can get basically free bonus candles from these, just like we did from the uh, flagellant. So we just need to visit two hoarders with the jester. We need to try to either enter the feeder or the sluice in the next inn. Okay. And then for this region, all we got to do is fight six or less road battles, which should be fairly easy. In fact, we should probably hit the watchtower just to uh, make sure that we're able to do that. So let's do the right side. I'm wondering if it might be safer, actually, to just go through the Oblivion Terror. I think it will be. Oh, yeah, and if we could get a fresh prediction going as well, that'd be awesome. Unlucky on the first region, but we did get lucky with the node and that we got a hoarder coming up. So we'll be able to uh, get one uh, measure of progress, I suppose, toward the Jester's hero goal. And then we'll also hopefully be able to buy some stuff. That'd be nice. Also need to probably change him back to rank four. But as we just saw, we might just end up starting a lot of combat with a fade to black, which is just as good. If not better than uh, Razor's Wit start. So maybe we'll just keep it as is. Nah, no deaths last time, Jax. The slow suffering begins. Uh, Lash's gift? Man, this is great. Someone, someone save me. Because I'm, I'm losing my mind here. I, I, this, this dude is nuts. It's giving me, like, flagellant solo run vibes from the early days of DD1. I want to take him out by himself. Genuinely. I think he might be able to do it. I'm feeling very confident with this character. We're not even... Not even reached his full power! I haven't even unlocked all his skills yet, dude! It's getting ridiculous. More drunk, more high. Clearly the right idea. Not a lot else we love here. You can't use the skill that heals him when he's alone, though. He's got more than one, doesn't he? The lashes gift. He's got the. Oh, that's a target heal right now. But he's got the. He's got this thing, the self heal from more more on upgrade that will heal him fifteen percent at the start of each turn, which is ridiculous. Imagine a freaking, not deathless now. I don't remember what they changed. Defiant, I think they call it now. Imagine a defiant freaking flagellant man. Myriad options require careful deliberation. Yeah, I think I should probably go this way just to be safe. Even though obviously welcoming an additional oblivion terror is risky. The loathing festers. At least it's one last road battle to worry about. Horses are having a heck of a time keeping a line. Hospital. It's not a bad find. Honestly, kind of tempting to lock in Iron Constitution here. Oh, evasive, right? I forgot I got that too. Hmm. Yeah, I could lock that in. That's really nice. Cost of relationship chance sort of sucks, but I think it's worth it. All right. So what that did, if you're unfamiliar with locking in quirks, is uh, prevent it from being replaced by any other positive quirk in the future. Brings accurate insight, after all. And I believe, please correct me if I'm wrong about this, but I believe that also prevents it from being removed by wild tea. 
which I don't think we've unlocked Wild T yet, but we'll see more about that later. Back-to-back -back hero shrines again. We'd have to hit the left for that, though. Will not be denied. Hmm. I know the T used to purge it, but I think they might have changed that. I guess I'd have to double check. I don't know if I'm going after the librarian here. We do need to get a trophy is the thing. We're now on chapter two, so a trophy is a requirement to reach the end. I suppose that wouldn't be a terrible path to take to, and we could clear loathing that way. Just provide us a cache, and then a study, and then a shrine. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go for it. No, they didn't actually reset progress. I was surprised, Vincent. But, of course, I opted to, anyway, just for the... The loathing howl. For the fresh 1.0 experience. All right. Oh, no. Okay, we're gonna clear one level of loathing right before this. All right, thank goodness. I got a little scared there. I didn't do my math right. You know, one plus one. I thought I'd failed that live on stream, which I guess wouldn't really even be my lowest moment, so I don't know what I'm worried about. We've seen that before, Bear. As a librarian myself, I support this librarian's habit of throwing burning books at unruly patrons. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta keep order somehow, right? Libraries are known for their... for their unruliness. Library goers, particularly. I know my local library is a... den for those sorts of folks. Yeah, I was going to mention something along those lines too, Ace. Yeah, the name checks out. <laughs> and you're also in a... You're, you're exactly where you should be on Twitch as well with a name like that. Tenebrous Madman. I'd like to go into Fresh with the 1.0. How'd you restart? I didn't see an option for it. I just created a new uh, profile. My, if you just go to the bottom right of the main menu. Measure out your violence, and apply it judiciously. Oh, we're immobilized. Let's take this, then. Yeah, the Jester's little giggle animation has always been a favorite of mine, for sure. The enemy weakens and wanes. Very fitting of his character. Hey, Sunberry. Going extremely well so far. Coming off our first 1.0 W in the previous run up against the Denial Confession. And have now unlocked Resentment, of course, so we're pursuing that. We're, we're in a race against time here, I've realized. As I, uh, I've got two days approximately before we leave to Cancun for a week. And I possibly am not able to see the Confession 5 boss prior to that. So I am I'm on the clock here. Here we go. And hopefully... Ooh, that's... Hmm. Oh, we do get Battlefield Medicine. Yeah, we'll be fine. I'll just do this, though. Just in case. There you go, buddy. Why'd I do that? That was silly. He was about to be battlefield medicine. There was no reason to do that. I think I just wanted to. I wanted to feel like it was the right idea to upgrade that skill and that it had some practical value there. I wanted to lie to myself. Sweet reprieve. Not the first time. Until the next test is put before you. We're farming pips. There you go. Yeah, there's always rationale. I'll give him the dead ringer, sure. We can maybe make that work with the bash later or something. Oh, no, 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 no. We, we like this on Plague Doctor with the blinding gas. Yeah, that's a nice combo. And lair time. A rare opportunity. 
Let us advance unimpeded. Get any key. Four months. Thank you for the keeping the bear hose coming for me all and again, of course. The big thanks. The immense support on Twitch and YouTube for the 1.0 launch. Appreciate it, y'all. One time orphan with the gifties. Well, keep the bear hugs coming. Thank you so much. Four laudanum. Don't mind if I do. Slap that onto this guy. Uh, thunderclap. No, All I think we're good. matters is the flickering torch you bear. We're good. We're good. Great library time. See if we feel confident enough to go up against the librarian here. The library burns. And with it, the remains of philosophy, reason, and insight. Bleed them. We've been running into a few more ordained enemies lately. Trying to keep an eye out for them. So long as we can keep stress at, let's call it like 50% or lower across the board. I do feel pretty good about this. I feel like once we get the jet, or sorry, once we get the uh, librarian into rank three, which shouldn't take long, I think it's fairly likely that we'll be able to, uh, An unavoidable end. to deal enough damage to him to get through it. Just bought the game last night because your stream first run got absolutely destroyed by the librarian, dude. That'll that'll happen. You gotta get humbled by the librarian a couple of times. You don't think you're going to be going again, no offense to our resident librarian here, but you don't think going up against the librarian, oh, this is intimidating. And then you very quickly learn. I do unlock the flagellant via the Altar of Hope. So once you complete a run with some candles, it should take you to the Altar of Hope where you can find him in the... Ah, oh, what's the section called? Someone help me. The name of this section down on the bottom left that contains the, the heroes available for unlock. A-dubs! Thank you for the prime. Welcome on in. Living City, thank you. And that one, uh, I think we're good. We'll fester for fun. We have very stern librarian voices, I don't doubt it. And methodical appliance of harm. I do wonder if the flagellant has special meltdowns. He does. It's called Toxic. And it is uh actually dope. It's 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 pretty great. No luck on the... That does dinnies, right? I'm not fooling myself. I am fooling myself. It's on upgrade. All right, all right. Get the group. Boop. Hello. What you doing? Uh, I, thought, I thought we were done in here tonight. I don't understand why you're still making sounds at the boxes. never in my brain figure out how to move this webcam by looking at it. And I never will. Haste and carelessness. All marks of the unprepared. How do you get the alternative costumes for the heroes? I don't actually know yet, Cody. I haven't uh, gotten that far in my unlocks. Voice of murder. Thank you for the Risa. Welcome back. What do you think, huh? Goofy girl. Goofy girl. Yeah, we're gonna want you to be A gone. Development. We're gonna need you to go. Mems. The 14. Yet another prime. Thank you so much. Don't do it. Don't do that. That's the one move. I prefer you didn't Let us do. Let take a closer look at the thing. The one behind as my face. As it is. That one there, not that one there, not that one there, not that one there, this one, that one. The blade tornado. Ouch. It hurts. Mean. That's what you get. I kill your friend. You have to look at his corpse and probably honestly feel nothing, given your appearance. I would wager you lost the capability of feeling any sort of thing close to human emotion a long time ago. 
But that is honestly a little too judgmental at surface level. If I were to look at the flagellant the same way, I might reach an incorrect conclusion. I've, I've clearly seen examples of his capability to feel. Often disturbingly so. The corpse does look a little melty, yeah. Left in the microwave a little too long. Ugh, boy. So remember that thing I said about 50% stress? I was hoping it wouldn't also have to apply to HP. Ah, oh, I'm out of Lash's gift position, son of a bitch. Can I just... I guess I can just move and then... Yeah, Solemnity's not gonna heal either, is it? God damn it. Ah, this is just right on the threshold of discomfort. Which is the, the name of my, uh, my post-rock band's fourth album. There we go. Sorry, I just had to, I had to go back in my actual memory of my life. Uh, oh, God, dude. Ah, it's the catalog. Shit. Fine, I'll do it. I'll do it, damn it. To prove the strength of the flagellant. He teeters madly upon his ladder, reveling in the fiery destruction of human accomplishment. I don't know, maybe it's just fun for him. Battle Ballad? Battle Ballad. So how do we hit him? Oh, we'll deal with that later. Hmm, yeah, do that. The blight started at least, okay. Ounce? Ooh, toxic. Yeah. Lowered blight resist. God, I wish I had played a grenade. Let's get some additional fire In resistance. Crisis, we can rely only upon each other. This is indeed a boss. This is the sprawl lair boss, the librarian. Observe the subject carefully. And you will discover its weaknesses. Here, sir, I keep forgetting to remove my face from the screen here. Analysis is the natural prelude to action. Yeah, you know you're dealing with a boss when you gotta scroll down to see all the skills. There you go. Um, maybe we just withstand here, actually, just to kind of get the attention off the back line as much as possible. Come on, thanks for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Just in time for our librarian fight. Ooh, we battle ballot again. Enabling the Lash's gift from the flagellant. He's saying thank you to Lacrimersis for the 10 gifties. Appreciate that very much. Bear hugs. Bear gifts for him. Also turn the face cam back on. Thank you. Um, we do this, right? Especially now that he's in rank three. Yeah, totally. We're going to be able to use these tokens for a little bit. It's not a new job, Matt. Awesome. Congrats. Thank you for the nine months as well. Welcome back. Ixer, uh, or Icker again, right? Yeah, to clear the dodge and also land the debuff. Outstanding. Okay. And then maybe blind in combo? What's our baby named? Uh, Tamok. Six Tamok, and I don't know where I could have possibly gotten that. Hmm. I'm beginning to grow concerned. That that doesn't make me feel much better. Huh. Lethality with large. Okay, okay. That's nice. Just finished my first run. Nice. Tracking shot upgrade gave you a free win against the librarian. That's a good way to go against him for sure. The the anti uh, dodge 
mechanism. Extremely effective for sure. I think I might just... Oh boy, yeah, I think I need to withstand again if that's off cooldown. It is definitely not. Let's try this. Mistimed. Misdirected. And then I guess I just gotta do that, don't I? Yeah, sheesh. Hmm. Still the play. Chance for a blind there is still pretty good. We got combo too, okay. It's not awful, but it's definitely not looking great right now. Had a lot less opportunity to deal damage than I expected. I guess we keep doing that. Pretty lucky, okay. I got through the blind and the dodge that time, and we get the dodge there as well. This won't immobilize him, will it? Because that's going to get rid of the second rank. Therefore, he will be forced to move up, I think. Well, at any rate, I'm not going to be forced now, obviously. Um, yeah, okay. A little stress heal there. Hey, glad to have you, Echo. Another combo. All right, the respectful uh, strength token there, too, which is pretty great. Let's get Ounce again, sure. That's pretty good. Cooperation is the key. Yeah, I agree. Once once he's in that second rank, I think we'll be way better off. Let's go ahead and pop a lot in him there as well. Quiet the howling mind. I guess we just gamble on that, don't we? We do indeed, and it works pretty well. All right, so obviously the fact that we're more than likely going down to death's door off this vulnerable hit is... Oh, never mind. I got the burn, too, though. That sort of stinks. I'm going to have to get through at least one more dodge here. Nice. We're getting really lucky. Yeah, a lot of these 50-50s have gone our way. Once again, teetering on that terrible precipice. Resisted the DOT. Didn't get targeted second either. That's good. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. We're cutting it close here. Don't get me wrong. It's looking... A little sketchy, but I think we'll be okay. Blind, obviously, gonna be huge here. Whoa! An uncertain absolution. From the move, what happened? She must have had something that damaged her on move. Blundering. Was it blundering, fool? Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Well, that sucks. Truly a blundering fool, yeah. So, let's see if we can take advantage of the Flagellant's Death Door Resist here. As that is 100% going to have to be the play. Is it? Yeah, right? Well, I mean, we do this anyway. She literally tripped and died, yeah, which is hilarious. There you go, buddy. I mean, we're all in at this point. No surprise there. That's extremely lucky. Okay, I'll take it. The blood of the valorous and cowardly alike soaks this tainted soil. All right! Our first experience with hero remains. Which, you know, pretty self-explanatory, <laughs> I would assume. We do get the complete catalog as well as the smoldering hymnal there, so that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah. Sick. Just gotta make it to the end, man. The loathing abates. We also got a lot Unhinged of stuff. by the impending apocalypse. The fanatics burn book and building alike. Dump that, dump that, dump this. Yeah, no, we'll just add this since it's good in this region. Need Dead Ringer or Heart Seeker on you. I think I'll go with that. I think I'm going to dump this for now. No need for the Laden Lantern anymore. Right? Well, we might get the Runaway, actually. I should hang on to that for now. We have this I could get rid of, the Mortar and Pestle. And then, where's the Smoldering Hymnal? We need to equip this on somebody that's a little faster, like the Jester. We'll do this. Not really using the Clasp Knife all that much. Um, And then the Stitching Kit. And the Book of Body Tales. Okay. That'll have to do. Oh, man. Yeah, this is, uh... This is not good. 
Let's rearrange the uh, inventory there. Boy. Supplies this way, if you can make it. We're gonna have to go through this barricade. Wheels is you, coach limping. Oh my God! Hold on. No, we have to. Ooh. Ah, it's gonna be a repair battle. What? No! Don't do that. Can we avoid it? The Wainwright awaits, eager to ply his trade. 25% additional healing received from skills. Is that helpful right now? That's helpful right now for sure. Linen to clear the uh, leper blind. Eh, I don't think I need that. I don't think I need this. I don't think I need this. Oh boy. I guess I'm not stockpiling those, am I? Or the impermeable poultice, okay. So, this is a problem. We have to either go through this barricade, and even then, if we were to do that, it would be a forced repair fight after this hero shrine. Alternatively, we go through Oblivion's Ingress and the Resistance Encounter and pray to RN Jesus that we get options to avoid those encounters. I don't like that. I'm going metal. Consider all variables, but do it quickly. Especially considering the stress heal from that. All right, barricade fight. I mean, put your freaking money where your mouth is, bear, huh? Let's see how good that flagellant is, dude. As the world collapses. Let's take care of business, shall we? We are going to be able to abuse Fade to Black in the third rank here. That is definitely worthwhile. Uh, let's do... Eh, we don't need to use that yet. Take advantage of the Dodge Plus. Steady Come on, yourself. man. What the hell? Well, let's try to do this at least. That'll be good. And... Suffer is probably better. I don't think it's necessary. I'm gonna do it anyway. Make me feel like I did the right thing upgrading that skill. Now he's going to add another bleed. Make me feel even better about it. See? I'm a genius. Ooh, could we could withstand now, couldn't we? It's not a bad idea. Dog Repost has 200% crit chance. I did not know that. Observe the subject carefully, and you will discover its weaknesses. That's insane. Uh, more blind. What combo? It's also good. Hold fast. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. At the dodge that time, at least. Okay. Not too bad. We'll solemnity that. Another smoke bomb. That's convenient. Really wish. Really wish he was in rank two still. I don't know if it's something I can move him back to do. I think I need to. Yeah, that feels necessary. All right, and then obviously the jester's in a bad spot need to withstand again. Yeah, we got three out of four ordained this time. This is not a good roll of the dice, unfortunately. For this, uh, for this barricade. I do feel like I need to just keep going for the blind here. Alright, got it that time. Yet another bleed. This is our Lash's gift. I think we'll take it here. Certainly nice. All right. Still got the 
Still got the combo, so one down. Might have a chance. Smoldering Hymnal. Adds the strength. I feel like I should chance this again. He has a dodge plus. I gotta clear this repost somehow, but I guess it might expire. I just realized. That was pretty good. Oh my goodness. I still have Suffer. Come on. Okay. Good man. Good man. You're going to be just fine. Everything's going to be okay, buddy. So, Blank. At last. Over the 21 months. Welcome on back in. The stands on cooldown, son of a bitch. Two down. The work continues. Okay. Okay. He just does not want to stop critting. Acid rain? Yes. Totally. All right. Measure out your violence. That's good. Apply it judiciously. Don't do it. No. God damn it, man. Ooh, that'll help. Give him a few more bear hugs, please. Think of the 21 months for Sir Blank. Welcome back. Uh, see, that's the thing. If we had to be left with two guys on the squad. These are the two I'd want. I still think we're going to be okay. Fight through the fatigue. We get to see just how good this flagellant actually is. There's a 2v2. I think we do this again. Yeah, that feels right. And he can linen. Almost there. Got a daze too, that'll help. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Just gotta try to clear the guard, I guess. Yet another crit off the repose. That is a bummer, but thankfully, got rid of the uh, bleed right away. Righteous action. One last hit. I think we get to do a Lashes gift again. Nice. Do I have Solemnity up? No, that would be an incredible finish, though. Yeah, you're good. One less obstacle in our path. I lived, bitch. More hero remains, hooray. My favorite. Hmm. Yeah. Let's get rid of that. And that. And that. There we go. All right. Well, we still have a repair fight. <laughs> this is, uh, this isn't looking great. Got flapjacks. The well-worn seat of our research. Still littered with notes, diagrams, and dusty journals. I'm so wealthy. If only it mattered. I don't think I need all these baubles. I think I'll also probably get rid of... Oh, the bread, right. Yeah, I don't, I don't need that anymore. Your coach is laden. You can carry no more. Oh, boy. Bye, bear trap. We get one more skill unlock for the flagellant. If, if nothing else, and it is likely, unfortunately, that it's nothing else, but... This is fun. More lore. Yeah, hooray. Okay, I mean, I'm still... I still have a sliver of hope, I'm not gonna lie. This would be a pretty epic comeback. 
None shall claim me till I submit the peak of agony. Summit, not submit. Okay. Chapter four. Death's door. Yeah, hey, I know that one. Ooh, what's gonna be? Yes! Yes! Her size promised numbing oblivion. A premature end to his sacred journey of sensation. Big W. All right. I thought it was going to be a moral victory. No, this is just a straight up victory. If this is going to be the end condition for this run, that's fine with me, dude. Death. Oh, man. I'm not a huge fan of the seductive way in which death is choosing to caress its scythe. That's yeah, that's upsetting. I don't like that at all. <laughs> Punish! 200 blight resist. Oh no. That doesn't bode well. Hmm. More! More! Yeah, that intro was dope. Oh, apparently that's uh, not the right time to do that either. Okay, hold on. There you go, buddy. Ow, oh, positions. I see. Didn't even notice the headstones. I'm I'm feeling pretty uh pretty worried here. Oh sorry, hold on, I just realized my night light is activating. Oh yay, we're toxic! There we go. Hopefully that didn't mess with the light too much. Hooray! Sepsis time. Ooh, baby. All of a sudden, their blight resistance is gone. That's looking better. A couple levels of pain. Ooh, look how effective that is. God, I love this character. Sepsis. Mmm, Sepsis. I'll go ahead and do the best skill real quick and apply another Blight. Feeling a little better all of a sudden. Feeling like we maybe got a chance here. Sick. Bye-bye. Learning your moves for when she comes out next time. Very true. Okay, so death's on death's door. If death doesn't have something death does on death's door, then what's death's door for? Okay, that looks a little cooler, I guess. It's on their own damn door. Gleaned from the world's gruesome delight. Yeah, dude. This power was enough to defy death herself. This just does what it did in the fight, and if... Wow! What? This character is insane! Good lord! Yeah, I'm gonna swap to that. Man, we might just... I think that might have enabled us to proceed? Having just unlocked that skill? Genuinely? Let's find out. That's the new exsanguinate, yeah. Quickly, prepare the damage <laughs> Good be off. Okay, well. Well, this is bad. A repair Agony. token and a Fire stun. That's, uh, that's gonna slow us down considerably to begin with. Just enabling the sepsis all is all though, so by all means, guys. Okay, quick little stress point for don't leave me. Is it 
just don't just don't don't stun him over and over if you wouldn't mind and also if you could just not make him have a meltdown immediately those are the only two things do whatever else you need to do i think we just need to chop thankfully not ordained this time the dead ringer days. There we go. I think they're finally. Oh my god! I was gonna say finally got the leopard to do the repair action, and then we get a stun on the flagellant. Yeah, this is bad. Come on, resolute, one time for me. Shit. Pacifist is no fun either. Yeah, the stuns pretty much did us in here, unfortunately. And yet another repair action on the flood. Oh, well. Yeah, it really starting to feel like the only chance we had was to avoid the repair. Rip. Did our best. And now, the greatest test of all. Damn bear, what happened? Plague Doctor tripped and fell. Bonked her head, got killed. You know how it is. Typical Darkest Dungeon stuff. Well, here we go, man. Here's the moment. Can the Flagellant actually just solo everything? Let's find out. Let's get him toxic, too. Why not? Kill this dude. Full heal. I'll take it. How about a uh, punish up front? Sure. If they keep hitting the corpses, yeah, that's going to help me out a lot. Okay. One dead. Got a two turn cooldown still here. This dude's dead to blight. Still alive from the hit. Obviously, the bleed will do it. Yet another death door. There's a stun too, son of a bitch. And still alive. Oh snap. Yeah, all right. That's fair. At last, the thing is finally passed on. A little further along in that than I thought we'd make it, to be honest. On and on. Over and over. Until the truth is laid bare. Oh well. And you are finally free. Yeah, let's go spam those candles and uh, that'll be a fine way to put a button on that. That's a fun way to a wrap that, though, with that death fight. A light in the limitless expanse. Let's spam these candles real quick. Let's see about... Uh, I feel like I left something that I wanted to do last time. Hearts and minds will carry the day. We, of course, have unlocked all of the heroes now. Study the winding roads and routes of our kingdom. Find any advantage. I suppose it might just be best to uh, continue to... Oh, you know, inventory slots and the stagecoach item slots. Yeah. Hail the vessel of your deliverance. That's a good idea. Charity is also going to become less and less valuable. These wheels are invested as we go with here. noble purpose. Every rotation... Blessed rest for the warriors ah, of our cause. And the stagecoach wheel points as well. One more candle for the stagecoach armor. Yeah, we can get some trinkets. Spare a thought for tools of iron. Such implements will serve us well. Let's get a couple of trinkets, and let's also get a couple of combat items this time. It's a fun one. Regen if target has stun. Fresh play, or yeah, fresh uh, profile on Steam. A welcome Joe. advancement in the science of survival. Not bad, not bad. Combat items. New instruments Very nice. will help us diagnose the world's affliction and overcome it. Very happy to get the crow's feet. Clouding powder's not bad. All right. Sanctuary. As fleeting as a dying star. Let's get another run started here. I might not have time to do the entirety of a run tonight, but we'll at least uh, get one underway here. We'll get a fresh pick me going as well. See if we can't get another uh, shot at the resentment confession here. 
indistinct and ill-minded. No comfort awaits you here. Y'all British just in time for our second run of the night. Welcome on in, British brat readers. If I could get we an exclamation point shout out British brat. Worship that stretched across vast gulfs of time and tribe. Oh, sorry, that's not an exclamation point. That's built in, that's right. It's built into the freaking the crossroads. Wait by the lantern's system, light man. and welcome what help may come. Pick me is also open if you'd like to be selected. Just joining us. Zealotry. An undying blight upon the soul. Yeah, he's still coming. I know. I'm sorry. I ain't changing yet anyway. Lurker Vestal. Tracker Occultist is not bad. Gaunt Hater Leper. Rackens for Jester. Plague Eater Slayer on the Runaway. Pillager Hater. Cadaver Hater. Stress Knitter. Steady and Generous. Nothing all that great. As far as the uh, positive quirks are concerned, I suppose Steady is pretty good. That's probably worth it. Yeah, we'll grab that. Avarice slips unseen into the catacombs of the mind. Runaway hasn't come out yet. We could probably bring her along for a ride. Nothing remains save a burning will to survive. She is pretty bad in the beginning. I remember that, actually. We need to unlock a lot of her skills. You know, I don't know actually if she's going to be capable of getting a win. <laughs> we really have to think about that early on right now. I need to at least build a team that's capable of getting the W. So I think maybe we'll need to do something like this and this. Hurried. A fugitive seeking to outpace the path. And then probably something like that. Yeah, I think that'll be best. We'll get the uh, Dead of Night equipped this time around as well. And then, of course, our point blank shot. I utilize tracking shot a little more frequently this time around. And then, yeah, clearly Sepsis is going to get back in the mix here. I don't think I like Suffer so much. All right, let's do it. Last call for the pick me if you'd like to be chosen for our last run of the day here. Let's get some fresh faces in the mix. Some fresh faces, huh, Bear? Sure thing, dude. Iguana fun. Iguana have some fun? Let's do it. Zen Furo. This is our highway man. Knight Lamar. Be our grave robber today. And finally. Do do. Nekakonikosan! Good to have you back. Let's get you in as our Wanderer Vestal. Let's do it. Feel free to enter the pick me still. Got to rename our stagecoach and our uh, pet as well. Let's do it. The road is yours to travel, but you are not alone. Here's that third wheel. We'll also have our additional stagecoach item slot this time around. It should be nice. And a couple more inventory slots. The winds whip more harshly on the far side of the brook. Let's go ahead and slap that uh, guarding gauntlet onto our flagellant here early on. The bulwark of your denial is giving way. The valley has been updated a little bit over the course of both the most recent update, Friday 1.0 and 1.0 itself. Uh, a lot of just quality of life stuff, but also... Well, first of all, you can probably see here, if you haven't played in a little while, uh, the initial fight is no longer just guaranteed to be uh, a couple of zombos. You can actually run into some other stuff now, too. In fact, I believe we had a woodsman in the very first uh, valley fight, which was a pretty rude introduction to things. Smack. All right, yeah, we got the stun there, too. So, yeah, the valley... Uh, Obviously still, you know, an introductory area, but it's not a I'm just a given anymore at least. The enemy weakens and wanes. Although certainly still far from a challenge. Waiting for the ordained cannon in the valley fight. I mean it harkens back to the days of tutorial shambler, right? Abandoned or forgotten. It is ours now. Let's not rule it out. 
Are you shaken? There is so much worse in store. You never know what they got up their frickin' sleeves, dude. Until, until I have witnessed a thousand runs personally in which I do not see an ordained cannon in the valley. Hell, two of them. The place is a little worse for wear. Why not? But familiar nonetheless. The first of many forks in the road. Choose your path and ride out unbowed. Triple academic studies. Good enough for me. Another nameless city. Another inferno of mutilation and madness. Oh, I don't know why I haven't equipped this, actually. Pretty nice for the uh, flagellant as well. Bounty hunter time yet again. Pick me still up one if you'd like to be selected. Caged shitter. That's a good name. Thank you for the prime. Welcome to the bear pile. Appreciate it. Spend what you can. For wealth no longer has meaning. He's that black. If indeed it ever did. The flagellant has been incredibly impressive. So much so that I cannot stop myself from bringing him along in basically every run. Pygmy Pliskin seemed like he was helping. I'll take that. Again. Yet again, get the griddle here, too. I mean, everybody loves slapjacks. Planning and mindfulness. As vital to survival as sharpened steel. Minu Min! Be our stagecoach for this run. Bale Ale Glass. Be your Pygmy Pliskin for the day. Service well. A couple of playing cards, a couple of pipe weeds. Eh, let's get some bread. Something to ease the rigors of the road. I think that's good. Ooh, we got Braggart on the flagellant again. That's really helpful. I think I might replace my highwayman here. No, let's go with the Grave Robber. He's better suited to spot three anyway. Make sure we're not uh, replacing him prematurely here, though. Yeah, I think we're good. There, above the hearth, the Hunter's Mark. Nice! Daredevil with the Sharpness Charm here. By default, plus 25% damage. Pretty sick. Our senses are a blessing. You dole them. That's a great bark for that, dude. That is. That's a, that's a that's a powerful statement, Experience, dude. Experience, however painful, is the greatest teacher of all. I think. I think I should upgrade acid rain and punishment again. What does the sepsis upgrade look like? Oh my god. It's insane. A peculiar habit. Thank you for the prime as well. Welcome on in the pile. Appreciate it. These two skills, man. I mean, I know I'm going to be using them over and over. Let's just keep abusing it. Use and abuse. Let's go. Hit it. Now say his barks without using your lips. <laughs> <laughs> a true flagellant roleplay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do my best in the next one. I thank you, Peculiar. Appreciate it. Behold, the great cities of man. Ruined and aflame. I always appreciate the Bezos bucks. Don't really have enough to hit that hospital. Let's follow the barricades. See the debris ahead? That is where they'll make their move. You seem pretty excited about it, dude. Is it cowardly that my resolve wanes? I think that might be the literal definition of cowardice, Vestal. I missed the flagellant reveal. 
He does look a little zombie-esque. No, I, I, my man just looks like a zombie. I'm not going to lie to you. He, he, he has become zombified. Just on the brink of death. Yeah, not quite dead. Mostly dead. I'm getting better. I feel happy. Is that a promising development? God, I'm I'm old as shit now. That's an ancient reference. You all know it. I know you all know it, but that, that just means we're all old. That's okay though. I bet I could still watch that movie and laugh out loud at parts. I feel pretty confident about that. Hmm. You? Yeah. There's that minimum hit. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. Yay, mastery. Easy enough. Yeah, probably get these, uh... Probably get these rifts in the middle, unfortunately. But again, it's all about... It's all about keeping them wheels intact. They revel in debauchery. Debasing themselves in the face of the end. We got a, uh, first-hand experience for what happens when you don't in the last run. Red Hook really knows how to polish a game. Agreed. Goodness, man. It's... It is validating. I don't know why I'm taking any level of, like, pride in it. I suppose just, you know, having had the full confidence in them from the beginning to turn this into the best possible version of Darkest Dungeon 2 that it could be, and it became that. And I know when we get into that conversation, there's going to be all kinds of people that are like, I wanted it to be something different. Well, if you wanted this like I did, it's freaking perhaps. great, man. It makes me real happy. Or if you're honestly like me and you didn't quickly. know you even wanted a Darkest Dungeon 2 and then they showed you what it was and then you were like, oh yeah, cool. And then it just kept getting better as it went. And now the 1.0 has been released and you're even happier with it than you've ever been. That's a nice place to be. If your name is Bear Taffy and you run a stream on Twitch.tv. If that's your legal government name. The smallest variable can make all the difference. I will say I like the game style of DD1 better than DD2, but DD2 is still a great game. I wish there were more folks like you. Because that's a perfectly valid opinion. And you're welcome to it. great when the games you look forward to are great. Simply stated, well put. Here, here. Another impediment cleared with impunity. I'm hoping to have a similar experience with uh, Hades 2 and also Cook Surf Forever coming up. We eaten around here, dude. Feels good. Now. And carelessness. All marks of the unprepared. I just had a raw 92 crit howling end. And the flagellant followed up for 11 damage, killing the librarian. I'm just going to give you a quick little bear clap, because that sounds awesome. Well played. Bye-bye. And cleared. The past is gone. 
Let it die. Seeing a lot of dead ringer, unsurprisingly, I guess, given our selection of trinkets at the moment. Not a bad trinket, though. I don't know why I'm complaining. Getting a lot of value out of it, actually. Those days tokens have been pretty significant. Okay. Bear, don't forget Risk of Rain remake. Very good point, McQueeb. It is low indeed. I did forget that. To profit in destruction. Is that this year too? I also forgot Silk Song, although I hesitate to bring it up again. Pretty sure I named the Bounty Hunter, yeah. It's uh yeah, Iguana Fun. Should be. We'll see, I guess, yeah. I, I keep forgetting, like, or I keep feeling like there is yet another huge indie release that I uh, have been allowing to slip my mind for this year as well. Oh, man, not actually what I'm thinking of, uh, but it did just uh, occur to me. I saw a trailer for Punch Club 2. I didn't actually see the trailer, but I saw that there was a trailer for Punch Club 2. That's fun. I'll probably play that. I remember playing that on YouTube in 2016. An unexpected find. Ancient history. Zelda, right? Yeah, no. Again, that's that's probably gonna end up being uh, an offline game for me. I'm pretty optimistic about that, too, actually. I think I'm going to enjoy that a lot. Yeah, that's been the the general consensus about that game, McQueeb, and I think they are very aware of that. And I'm hoping that they have uh, incorporated that lesson into the sequel. Made it less grindy. My path to deliverance lies through them. I want more loot, dude. That's yeah, pretty easy. Yeah, this is steady yourself. This is the time to take advantage of our well, our our advantage, I guess. Our strong squad. Yeah, Flagolin is tanky as hell, man. 50 base HP. He's feeling good. Later on, beauty. Oh, that was not right. Whoops. Just trying to make it interesting here. I took va five days of vacation time so I can mainline Zelda before I end up getting something spoiled. That's that's wise. If that is your aim, then yeah, that's that's a, that's a smart idea. Lash's gift. Seems good. Does he Oh wait, does is he lashing them and they're reacting to it? Am I just now realizing that? That would be fun. Does it look like the Highwayman kind of like popped forward a little bit? I had assumed he was just lashing himself for it, but it would be very interesting if he was doing it to his. <laughs> See, it's fun! You try it! <laughs> I think I'm okay, bud. practicing social distancing bear. You're just being safe. I mean, he's not looking like the healthiest dude to hang around. That's a six-foot minimum. Lair? Maybe. If we put the pistol shot back on... Eh, why not? 
The video will be composed of two failures. Echoes of humanity twisted by hopelessness. You don't know. You don't know. You look down at the video length. You're, you're guessing based on the length, right? You're like, I don't know. That's enough time to maybe get in a half a run. But you don't want to scrub, do you? You don't want to spoil it. We'll stay right here. We'll find out together. Uh, come here. You believe in the librarian kill? I think it's possible. I think with this team we can make it happen. Ooh, sepsis, fun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hey, Masia, I think the, or, sorry, I think that the technical issues are past us, thankfully, so. Very happy to see that. Just getting started with this run here, though. We're uh, pretty early on. Still cannot tear myself away from the flagellant. Nor do I feel I should, given his, you know, remaining novelty. Bye-bye. In this weighty gloom, a spark. Oh, this is the fresh file still, yeah. We've made significant progress, actually, already, just from the couple of uh, decent runs we've had. Even several candles. All right. This lair is still... It certainly does not feel comfortable. They really don't want to agree on anything either. That's been... For as many encounters as we've opted to engage with, we've gotten very few relationship pips out of it, unfortunately. Oh, it's most likely my internet issues, unfortunately, Joe. There will be a new YouTube playlist for the 1.0 release. Yeah, in fact, uh, funny story about that. So, uh, I updated the previous playlist, the 174 episodes of Early Access Darkest Dungeon 2, to add the phrase Early Access at the end of each title. I probably could have done that, if I had just done that manually, probably could have done it in like 30 minutes, 45 tops. Instead, I had the genius idea because I've been having so much fun with ChatGPT recently. I was like, let's ask ChatGPT to write a script that'll do it for me. It'll be fun. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't don't make my mistake. Don't be me. That's that's the role I serve on the internet. I know that, and I'm I, I'm doing my best to fill that role here. Boy, was that a freaking mistake, dude! I spent like because I was determined. After a certain point, I was like, I'm gonna make this freaking thing work. I spent probably four hours on Sunday going back and forth with chat GPT I was like I was I was doing it what I thought was logically where I was like you know I, I would have it write the thing and then I would test it and it would return an error so I was like okay return this error what do we do about this error and then you know like step by step like that eventually it just got to the point where I was like I don't know what the hell I'm doing with this stuff man so I asked my brother who is a uh, coding genius and a uh, software engineer. I was like, hey, can you look at this and see what's going on with it? And he was quick to point out to me, oh, you're working with OAuth, which is notoriously an extremely difficult thing to work One with as a programmer and a probably the worst possible introduction to programming you could have had. So he spent like another two hours trying to make it work and he got it working which was awesome. And so we ran a script that changed the titles of all the videos in that playlist 
to add early access afterward. It also deleted all the descriptions. The library burns. And with it, the remains of philosophy. It also Reason. deleted, uh, sorry, I gotta say, it also deleted all the descriptions. I don't know why. <laughs> we didn't tell it to do that. <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't part of the code. It wasn't part of the script. But it did. So I just, you know, had to go in and manually rewrite all my, well, not rewrite, I was just copy pasting all the descriptions for the uh, old videos. But yeah, that's, uh, that's been a fun little experiment. Oh yeah, see, that's the thing is like, I, the biggest thing for that is, uh, you know, I've got the, I've got the Epic Creator code. So I had to have, I, I had to have like the link and all that stuff for, for money, for, I want to make money off of it. That's why is to make money from the, from the creator code link. That's the only thing I care about. Otherwise who cares? It's the description. No one uses it. So yeah, I, I wasn't really sweating it that much. Speaking of which, use Creator Code Bear Taffy down below. And bye bye. That's the, you know, that's not gonna do it, but he's still gonna die. See? Straightforward and effective. It's just possibly you know, unknow unknowingly just wrote the source code for Skynet. I mean, if anybody was gonna do it accidentally, right? My bad. Sorry, guys. I oopsied Skynet. Oh, we don't have pistol shot equipped. You're right. Ah, son of a gun, dude. Son of a missing gun. It's in Victor. You even specifically begins. told me not to do that, Sin. You said that you kept... I don't know why you kept saying this. I guess I do now. But for a good couple of months there, every night, Sin would send me a Discord message. And he would say, by the way, Bear, don't accidentally write the source code for Skynet. And then fucking... What do you... Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. You tried. You did your best. And now Tom Brady's retired. It's clearly directly related. Yeah, that's... I owe you one, bud. Ooh, a little sepsis. <laughs> that remains entertaining. My positive reaction to sepsis. Uh, let's see. Flashbang. Oh, no, that's just going to shuffle him to the front. That was a goof. That's okay. He's dead anyway. Okay, clearly. A steady subtraction, an invariable result. Clearly not in good shape to fight this guy. <laughs> he teeters madly upon his ladder, reveling in the fiery destruction of human it's, accomplishment. No, it's just like I literally I expect to lose, but just doing that is so funny to me that it's worth it to do it. Doing this specifically because this is episode three of a new playlist and I probably have a lot of new viewers here. I look, I'm just trying to establish a precedent, okay? I'm trying to get you comfortable with what you should expect. This is very much the norm. And often it just works out for some stupid reason. So, you know, maybe we'll just kill him. Crazier things have happened. I started calling the shaman Edge Shaman because of eyes closed. That's... I like that a lot, actually. Yeah, I might just have to start doing that myself. Eh, just gamble. Duelist Advance is good. New playlist subtitle, Learn From My Failures. I, I might as well, yeah. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. 
A little extra bleed for the boy. I do need to move forward here, unfortunately. Oh, actually, yeah, that... No, that's fine. That's okay. This is almost certainly just duelist events across the board for the next couple of rounds. Certainly good to avoid that. Do I want this? Doesn't really matter. Okay. Most importantly, we need to duelist advance to the front so he can do a Lash's gift next round. But obviously, keeping the repose up is pretty helpful, too. Mark seems good still. No vulnerable, unfortunately, but the combo helps. This is... This is going fine? Question mark? Not good, but it's okay. This would help. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll take the yield, though. Remind yourself that overconfidence is lit, bro. Resolute! All right, all right. Get him! Yeah, I, I plan to, if you'll just let me. Thanks. Do we still do that? Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it. Probably gonna have the same result here anyway, since I was going for the lash. Oh, wait, no, he's... Yeah, right, he's gotta be low HP for that. I forgot. Let's do this, then. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm gonna take the attention off the bounty hunter for a second, and then... We get lucky with a couple of chops. Uh, oh, yeah. There we go. That'll help. Uh, take aim. Oh, you know, yeah. No, let's just cut. And then once he's about to clear that, we'll take aim into a point blank. That'll be good. So this is where all those 50-50 misses went, huh? The last time we fought this dude. That is fair, I guess. Big damage still coming from those bounty hunter chops, man. I guess if he doesn't get to hit either, that's fine. I think we're okay. Even if he gets to transform here, I think we might be alright. The meltdown on the Vestal is concerning. I don't like that. The slow suffering begins. Yeah, she's already pretty low, though. Hey, the blade's good. He got a lot more HP than I thought he was gonna get to. I think I gotta go all in on the damage. That's nice. And here's the point blank we were talking about. I guess I had to do it the last round. I didn't realize. Max damage again, and the combo. And a repost. I think we have a shot. I think we won. Steady yourself. We absolutely won. Oh my god. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Point proven. A fortune in memories. Long forgotten. Totally undeserved, but I'll take it. There's a smidgen of overconfidence. The loathing whispers. Alright. Well, sadly. Not a lot of great loot here either. Equip those couple things. Let's give him additional crit. All right. All right. Yeah, I keep forgetting she's got the burn off of judgment. Ah, she's still got that speed threshold, though. I guess this is really good for judgment. We'll go with that. I don't know if it's really good, but it's... It's, it's something. It's, it's a change. That can't be argued. Protection has been stripped to its last. 
Sure has. Got a hoarder coming up. I don't know if we got a lot of relics. Oh, we do. That's nice. Run's just been full of surprises, huh? Let's finish off the flagellant. Every rapturous lash drags me further from her grasp. Chapter 5. Behold the man. I intend to. Once more he wandered, ravenous for fresh suffering and delighting in its novelty and excess. Offering himself to Blade and Talon alike, he became an icon writ in flesh. A living prayer to whatever gods would turn an ear. Undying, he savored his delicious declension. Oh, an eternity of pain and wrought. Heaven on Earth. Delicious declension. Declension. The, ver the variation. Oh, hold on. That can't be it. Here we go. A condition of decline or moral deterioration. Declension. Wow. That's a fun word. Undying. Target gains three regen. I already love that. Necrosis. Targets all enemies. Requires a target be blighted. But that's pretty easy of a condition to meet. Also self heals. Huh? I feel like the flagellant's pretty good, dude. Oh my lord. Thank you. Can you see what they do upgraded without having a mastery point? Yes. This simply increases the damage slightly. Sorry, right, yeah, I keep forgetting to say what I truly mean, which is that the Flagellant is clearly the worst character they've ever made, and he needs a significant buff. The Loathing Festers. Pronto. Not nearly strong enough. Order time. Hmm. Hologram Golem. Thank you for the 10 months. Welcome on back into the barrier pile. Appreciate it. Hymnal is the one I'm thinking of that actually requires the speed. So we don't really need Wolf's Blood yet. Kind of love Greater Guild in mind again. I'll pick that up. I got the whale achievement. Purchase an indelible trinket from the hoarder. That's adorable. And insulting. All right. Well, roadway hazard, not too bad. All the way to Oblivion's Rampart. Let's do it. Really want some brand new characters. It's fun having the old cast back. We really would like to see more new stuff. Again, with the way that the Shroud was presented, I, I think it, it misinformed me as to the difficulty and the expectation of new content. I think it's a much taller order than we realize to create either of a new region or a new character in this game. I think it's... Well, I suppose, actually, we'll get uh, confirmation of that uh, when the modding scene rolls around. See just how difficult they all find it. But I, I... I have a strong suspicion that there's a lot more to it than we realize. That being said, I am fully expecting that they'll... Uh, continue to uh, come out with new characters. I think the most likely situation is... Ooh, Necrosis. Fun. Oh, it only targets the Blighted. 
enemies. Okay. I thought it would target everybody for some reason if it was just one blighted. But I guess that's incentive to spread the blight around. Also incentive to use the flagellant with the plague doctor, clearly. All right. Yeah, exactly, Hutch. Just simply creating a new 3D model is a pretty tall order. Modders can just assess chat GPT. Yeah, there we go. Bringing it back. It's easy. So, so yourself, Bear. You want to see a blight team, flagellant plague dog, grave robber? I think there's, I think there's a lot of potential there. Who would have to be their fourth? I mean, honestly, you kind of wide open there. You got more than enough damage, I would guess. Bravo. 31 self-heal crit, 14 damage, and a blight for four for five turns. Clearly not strong enough, he needs a buff. Make the flagellant better. Uh, yeah. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. And yeah. Just can't stop critting now. Someone to tank and wait out the DOT. Yeah, that makes sense. I feel like you could even get like a a hellion in there. A little bleed up front, maybe? I'm also very excited to see the Collector return, yeah. Definitely looking forward to that. The past is gone. Let it die. What a find. Wow. Yay. Oh my goodness. Plus 20% max damage straight up. Love to see it. That is region complete, baby. I didn't max him out, Gabal, though. I just unlocked him. Still got a lot of candles left to spend on him. I just wanted to have him available. Because he is actually pretty good just out of the gate. Gets a lot better as you upgrade him, but he's pretty serviceable already. Yet places such as this, where a little light still gathers. Hmm. 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 Rude. Boy, that's a lot of stress. Everywhere in ruin. Everywhere in need. Plus 25% safe routes actually sounds pretty great. I can avoid the watchtower, sure. The barnacled timbers of the coastal villages are sodden with salt and secrets. Let me get the right trinkets on our guys here as well. Actually, I think I'm going to do this. Plus 35% damage on the highwayman seems pretty great. She's got the extra bleed resist. I guess we'll give her the dead ringer and the guarding gauntlet. Actually, I'd like to have her get a little extra crit chance. Alrighty. Conventional fare, but fairly priced. Get another whiskey barrel, more pipe weed. Let's get some bread. I just need the two, I guess. I might do it. Each improvement. Oh yeah. A new variable in the equation of your fate. Oh man, these are both great. I forgot we got the unabridged edition, so we're going to get full location and route scouting now, along with the lessened traveling flame drain via the iron blazier. The roads are rife with peril. A little protection is always welcome. And a whole freaking bunch of mastery points, dude. Sick. Okay. Upgrade. 
Do we ever think about how slime mold costs four relics? These taverns are such rip such ripoffs. Supply and demand does terrible things to people. Get the take aim going here. I think we'll go with the point blank shot as well, and then probably the duelist advance. <laughs> you can't eat relics, that's right. Hmm. Not with that attitude. Whiskey barrel. Man, that plus six is always very nice to see. Check where we left off with everybody else. Grave robber highway man. We'll try to boost that up a little bit. Uh, to be honest, I think I'd rather just use the pipe weed to stress heal a little more here. Well, the grave robber is... Well, I don't know. I guess I should probably at least make them no longer unfriendly, right? Yeah, let's do that. And then let's just do this one for the stress healing. All right. Not too shabby. I think we're ready to take off here. Into the shroud we go. Hmm. Aspiration unites the hopeful. Nice. Lash's gift is actually going to stress heal Knight Lamar. Poison Dart will stress heal the Flagellant. This has been maybe one of the more noticeable changes, actually, to the game so far here in 1.0. The fact that these relationships are actually affecting things a lot more frequently. I'm loving it, dude. Deathless will stress heal. Judgment will stress heal. Nice. Ouch. Each covets what the other has and plots to take it. Pick to the face. Lad stress. Okay. Sorry to do this this way, all, but I am. It's just now occurring to me. I think this is probably going to have to be the point at which we split the video today because it is getting a little late. It's already 9 o'clock local time, and I do plan on uh, going live bright and early tomorrow morning, so. I think we'll have to pick this up in the morning. I think we'll have to cut the VOD here. But, uh, yeah. Good times, y'all. Been very much enjoying 1.0 of Darkest Dungeon 2, and we'll continue this run in the morning. If you're watching on YouTube, big thanks for that. Please leave a like on the video as well. Appreciate all the support there. Join us live on Twitch as well. Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific, when you can typically expect to see me live here. We'll see you next time.